I have recently seen a lot of questions on Reddit and Microsoft forum about Power BI for project management. And I want to give some of my thoughts on the topic. Uh, I can see people are asking for templates and what analysis uh, others recommend. So I want to show some of the dashboards that uh, we created previously for clients for this project scope. I want to discuss the principles for designing those dashboards and to explain the KPIs. So let's get straight into it. First of all, uh, I think you really need to ask yourself who are you reporting to? Um, because a C-level executive will look at completely different things to a project manager. A project manager would want to look at the list of tasks and projects and uh, how each individual task is completed. Whereas a C-level executive would want to see the big picture trends and patterns. So potentially something that could influence the profitability of the business in the short or in the long term. Now that you've answered these questions, um, the next step is to identify what analysis to present to your audience. Um, I will share the first example. Uh, which was created for a service company and it was created for a C-level executive and I hope it will help to demonstrate my point. Uh, this specific dashboard, it was created for a service company and uh, the main analysis here is actual hours versus quoted hours. The reason for this is for a service company, this is basically one of the main things that decides your profitability. If you work significantly more hours than you quote for, uh, then you're definitely less profitable. So completing proper analysis on this topic and taking action on it can actually help you identify areas where you can improve your uh, actual versus quoted hours and therefore your profitability. A C-level executive wanted to see uh, the trend for actual versus quoted hours, which you can see here at the top. Uh, they also wanted to see number of events by variance. So uh, variance means quoted hours minus actual hours. They wanted their events to mostly be in this zone where it's uh, plus or minus 30%. Um, the events where the variance is um, uh, positive, which is they have um, quoted hours, but they have no actual hours, that's basically a data entry uh, issue. So you can see those events and you can see that people just forgot to log their hours. So um, what you need to do is to tell your team to log your hours for this particular event. Now, the uh, events here in this zone is what you want to maximize. And in fact, you can uh, click on any bar or multiple bars in this chart, and you can see exactly which events um, are in this range of uh, minus 10%. So uh, that's an example of um, analysis for a C-level executive. One other thing they would look at is hours by resource. Of course, they want to know which resources help to improve profitability and uh, you know, for which resources the profitability is less than expected. Uh, that's basically one of the jobs of the C-level executive. So. This graph right here essentially helps to identify that. For example, you can see uh, the actual hours versus quoted hours are uh, a lot less for the first resource. And this is probably because some jobs are still in progress or it, it's because she completes the jobs uh, very efficiently. On the other hand, the bottom bar in this chart, you can see that there are more actual hours than quoted hours. So again, you could see whether 
you need to provide any training to this resource or um, you know anything like that so maybe you need to adjust your estimates for this resource another thing which is really important for a service company is uh, billable versus unbillable hours in every service company you have unbillable hours uh, people spend time for sales tasks they spend it on admin and uh, you know if you want to be more profitable you want to spend more time uh, on billable tasks or as much time as possible so it helps to analyze this on a department level and also on the resource level um, you can also see the trends month over month so for example you can see like in december most time was spent on unbillable hours and then you can see whether there's anything you could do differently for December uh, or maybe it's just a seasonal thing right um, another thing you can do is uh, you can uh, uh, analyze the average locked hours per person and this would allow you to identify some seasonal trends so potentially in some specific month uh, you can always see a spike uh, for you know average locked hours by person so again this would help you with your internal planning now the second dashboard i want to show is more of a project manager level dashboard so this is where you can see the actual hours by project and specific tasks that were completed uh, this is a standard um, template for clickup which we install for uh, all of our clients who need Power BI dashboards with ClickUp. Um, essentially, it shows completed and outstanding tasks by assignee. Uh, so, for example, the second bar here is for unassigned. Um, and um, obviously, most of tasks here are not completed. Um, so, the immediate action that you can take is you can click here you can see uh, which specific uh, projects and tasks uh, the um, you know are in the unassigned bucket and you can assign those tasks now uh, the next thing that you can do is you can go to individual um, team members and uh, you can select the team member and you can analyze uh, the um, their progress towards their tasks on every project you can analyze which uh, projects have more uh, tasks in the to-do stage versus uh, you know completed so this would help to prioritize um, now if you're working with a solution like ClickUp you can also build uh, those URL links that take um, a user straight to ClickUp where you know they can take further action on a particular task they can mark it as completed or leave comments or you know do anything else like that so I feel that's always a nice touch now um, the next page which I want to show is more for resource utilization and uh, it can help you identify specific days or days of the week or specific month where you know you have more hours than before and uh, this is useful because um, you know it would help you with your bandwidth planning throughout the week and also throughout the year uh, another thing you can see here um, is that some people are working disproportionately more hours than other people for example the second line here um, this person is only working one to two hours a day whereas we have someone in the team who is working you know nine or eleven hours a day so uh, obviously what you need to do is to re redistribute some tasks or like train somebody else on the tasks that this person is performing you can also see that some people are working weekends and again this is something that uh, you can take a look at maybe 
you redistribute those tasks to other people throughout the week. Um, so far we've talked about tasks and uh, hours, but uh, one very important aspect of project management dashboards is budget. Uh, again, this is important if you are uh, reporting to C-level executives because they want to be in control of the money spent. Uh, something you can do here is to show the actual cost and the forecast for uh, every month that your projects would be running. And uh, this way you can help management anticipate the expenses uh, every month. So this just gives some peace of mind in terms of, you know, we know how much we will spend next month and what this would go to. Um, in terms of the forecast, you can calculate that uh, if you know the number of days that a contractor is uh, approved to work, uh, their daily rate, and also the working hours in the next you know, year or however long your projects are. You basically need to create a calendar table which uh, takes away the weekends, the bank holidays, um, times that people are off. And uh, once you have that, you can extrapolate your, you know, the daily rates of your consultants over time. Um, this is basically how you show forecast. And uh, if you show the actual costs compared to it, then uh, you know, you get the charts that we are looking at at the screen right now. Finally, you might want to show some analysis on project level. Uh, this way, management will know uh, what projects the money is spent on and uh, also a percentage of budget which is spent versus approved. Again, this is just to uh, show management that you are in control of the money that was allocated to a project. So I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions or have any thoughts about the use of Power BI for project management, then please leave a comment. If you have any use cases you would want to share yourself, maybe you had great experience of using Power BI dashboards for project management, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear more about uh, other people's experience in similar use cases. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for the next video and I will see you soon.